brought the National Hockey League back to Minnesota where it belongs. Tell me what you're uh, doing out here today. Yeah, we're just thanking Norm for his support. You know, I'm the health insurance lobby, and then we've got Big Oil and Big Pharmaceutical, and being the special interest that we are, we really, really need his support, and he's doing a great job. So we're here just to say thank you. I don't care much for public speaking, but I made an exception for today because I believe so much in the candidate, my dad. My thanks to my beautiful wife, Lori, uh, to my children uh, for all they have given up to give me the opportunity to serve. And I am so very, 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 very grateful to them. I am humbled and excited to announce today that I am a candidate for another term as your United States Senator. And I run for this office as a proud Republican because this party expresses and achieves the highest ideals of America. Republicans believe in freedom first and government programs after. We believe in a strong national defense and an unshakable relationship with our ally Israel. And, and we should never, ever have to go to the United Nations for a permission slip to pursue our national interests. <laughs> Republicans are for small businesses, especially those who pay their workers' compensation insurance. And, 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 and we all know these are challenging times. Our economy has slowed. Our politics are divided. Our families are stressed. My wife and I and my kids, we enjoy our lives, but we open the morning paper with the same anxiety that everybody else does. What's going to happen today? That's almost enough reason for me to run to be to re-election, to be a voice of optimism in a cynical time. But optimism is not a Republican virtue or a Democratic virtue. It's an American virtue. We had floods, the bridge collapse, and yet our people and their government stepped forward and met those extreme challenges one by one. Minnesotans refused to quit or whine or become victims. We chose to be neighbors. I became mayor of St. Paul in a dark time, a difficult time. Jobs were leaving, crime was growing, taxes were rising. By the time I completed eight years of no tax increases, thousands of new jobs were added, billions of dollars were invested in reconnecting with our Mississippi River, and we brought the National Hockey League back to Minnesota where it belongs. I am running on my record because unlike my likely opponent, I actually have one. What a, what a concept, you know, <laughs> that before you serve in the Senate, maybe you should have done something to show that you can actually do the job. And as your Senator, I've tried to be Minnesota's mayor in Washington, putting the emphasis on serving your needs. No project too big or too small. I'm willing to work with anybody who helps get the job done. I learned a long time ago that there are some problems in this country that are too big for one party to solve. I've been a champion for ending dependence on foreign oil, working on it and, and pushing and advocating renewable fuels, wind energy, clean coal technology, nuclear energy, and deep water drilling. And I kept my promises to Minnesotans. I said I'd oppose drilling in Anwar, and I did. I said I'd support good judges who interpret the Constitution, not reinvent it, and I did in the making wise decisions protecting our country. At a time like this, when national partisanship is so inflamed, we need uniters, not dividers. I'm fighting for the people's interests, not the special interests, the soldiers, the elderly, the college kids, the middle class, working families. These are the people who deserve a senator who fights for them and has shown that he can produce results. Absolutely. Over three decades, I've experienced the joys of fishing on a crystal clear Minnesota lake, celebrating two baseball world championships, and, and, and the great honor of dropping the puck on opening night at the first game of the Minnesota Wild. That was uh, That's the Minnesota I want to continue working for in the uncertain future that we face. For limited effect of government that lives within its means. For success in Iraq and then orderly withdrawal. 
for affordable health care for all Minnesotans without turning it over to the government folks who did Katrina relief and welfare programs that ruined so many. I'm not willing to see the 21st century to the Chinese or anybody else. Okay? I see the march of freedom continuing over the rocky road of terrorism and totalitarianism to a brighter future for all. That's the path of public service for me. Plain, not Hollywood. Peaceful, not divisive. Generous, not mean-spirited. And, and, and just, and just, not political. I think what I do best is what Minnesota needs most. An experienced, optimistic problem solver who can do more than talk about change. I can actually bring people together to get things done for Minnesota. As Americans, we are the last best hope of Earth. May God continue to bless America and the state of Minnesota as we work to be worthy of that blessing. And may God bless all of you. Thank you. Aguilar, uh, president of Aguilar Productions, also uh, chair of the Latino Advisory Committee for uh, Senator Norm Coleman, and also uh, uh, chair of the Hispanics for McCain here in Minnesota. I supported Norm when he was the mayor of St. Paul. He, he brings to Minnesota what we need, leadership, an ability to go across the aisle, a, a knowledge of, 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 the, of the, the, the situations and of the, of the, the impact of, uh, of, of all the national uh, debt and everything that's going, that, that he knows what's good for Minnesota, and we're going to support him again for six more years.